On the show here today, we're not done focusing on cutting-edge technology in the health and the medical sector. What we're moving to next is a tiny device that is set to transform the world of medical diagnostics. What we're talking about today, just this small, is PillBot. It's the world's first low-cost, disposable, remote-controlled endoscopy pill. You heard that right. It's an endoscopy pill developed by the US-based company Andia TX. This robotic capsule is making its India debut at the AIG hospital in Hyderabad. Let's take a closer look at how this groundbreaking tech could actually change the way gastrointestinal examinations are done and performed. In a landmark moment for medical science, India has witnessed the debut of PillBot, a tiny swallowable robotic capsule designed to improve gastrointestinal diagnostics. Developed by California-based NDATS, PillBot eliminates the need for traditional invasive endoscopy procedures by offering a remote-controlled high-resolution internal scan of the stomach. Before taking the PillBot, patients only need to drink water to aid its journey through the digestive system. Once swallowed, the 13 mm by 30 mm capsule activates using its embedded camera and thrusters to navigate the stomach. The robot that we uh, put together is called PillBot. Think of it like the tip of the endoscope. And it has similar things that the endoscope has. It has a, a, a camera, so you get a live video feed. Uh, there's a multi-flex circuit, so it has all the circuitry that is normally on the outside of the endoscope system. All of that capability is now built inside that tiny little robot. Uh, it has LEDs because uh, in order to provide light inside the stomach. Uh, there's a data transceiver, so all the data transmits out wirelessly. And so that live video feed, there's no wires, all that transmits out directly to, the, uh, to where the doctor is at and he sees that live video feed. Controlled remotely through a wireless device, even a smartphone, it provides real-time visuals to the doctors, allowing them to detect abnormalities like ulcers, bleeding or other gastrointestinal conditions. After completing its task, the capsule naturally exits the body within 24 to 48 hours. With its promise of accessibility, affordability and efficiency, Billboard is poised to enhance gastrointestinal care globally. Bureau Report, CNN News 18. Yeah. Okay, now to tell us more about all of this cutting-edge technology and its potential impact on healthcare in the Indian context. We're joined by the Padma Bhushan Awardee, the chairman of AIG Hospitals, Dr. Nageshwar Reddy, with us this morning on the show. Dr. Reddy, thank you for joining us here on The Breakfast Club. Dr. Reddy, we believe you have the PillBot handy. So if we could actually just start by sharing with our audiences what it looks like. And then also, Dr. Reddy, if we could ask you a little bit about the costs involved, because this is an interesting aspect of it. You don't need to actually go to hospital to see what's inside. I know doctors like you can access the visuals from home. So in one way, a patient is saving consultation costs, but also spending on the PillBot. So how does the, the cost work? So this is a very interesting technology and this is a pill that we use. It's actually, if you see, it's very small, just like an antibiotic. Hmm. And you see the lights coming there that are yeah. coming in this. Well, actually what happens is this LED light, so the camera there on the top there. You swallow this pill, it goes inside the body and then after it goes inside the body, the camera gets activated. There's hmm. batteries here, there's a transmitter here at the bottom. All this is technology packed into this. This transmits images by radio frequency to a uh, television screen outside or you can have a belt which actually receives all these images. Once it goes inside, it's a continuous video, approximately 60,000 frames we get throughout the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, it's this actually, this is a diagnostic pill that we got long back. This is very interesting because this was several years uh, back, in 19, late 1990s, Paul Swain, a friend of mine, a gastroenterologist in UK was actually going in a flight and was sitting beside him, Idan, a missile scientist from Israel. So Paul told him, uh, look, you are developing missiles, why don't we do something like drones into the human body and that's how the concept came. In 2000, Paul actually visited us and we gave him a lot of suggestions and the first capsule endoscope, this 
was a refined version now came and in 2001 we introduced this in at the AIG hospitals. Uh, we have been using this extensively to study the body but the problem with this capsule is that it goes inside, goes by peristaltic waves, you can't control it. You get beautiful pictures but you can't direct it to the place you want mm. and do surgeries. So right now all the surgeries are done with endoscopy which is a long tube that you put inside then you can see cancers, remove them and so on. This is a revolution but still it involves this endoscope. So what happened was about in 2010 or 15, that period we developed a concept at AAG where we can use this capsule in a therapeutic form like a small robot. So this is like a drone, can we convert this into a robot as yes, we did. We could convert this, I made a lot of films and cartoons. In fact the original uh, capsule was based on a movie called The Fantastic Ovage hmm. which uh, was made to show how a Russian um, a spy who escaped from Russia, an American spy had clots in the brain and people were made into small miniatures, put in a capsule, sent to wipe it out and that was the initial inspiration. But then when we made these uh, films or cartoons where we showed that the capsule actually can go to the site of the lesion, do surgeries and remove them. Uh, Dr. Vivek Kumbari who was a professor of uh, gastroenterology at the Mayo Clinic and Alex was a space scientist in Sanford came together. They took this cartoons and asked me, can we take your permission to make something like this into an actual um, uh, pill? And then they worked for it for a long time, almost now eight or nine years. Finally came out with this new pill bot, uh, which we demonstrated last week at the AAG. This is very unique. You actually, you swallow this capsule and then it's got a, you can actually direct it remote control using joysticks. You can mm. joysticks, it can go like a submarine in the water, it finds the spot where this lesion is and then actually you can now direct it wherever you want. Oh, so wow. the next development okay. is going to be into making it into do procedures actually, we can attach small arms to this and oh. with this arms it can cut the early cancers or it mm. can stop bleeds, uh, all this technology is coming very fast. In fact, next year middle of next year or later part of next year we are going to have the first version commercially available and the cost is going to be very cheap. The original capsule was costly because of all the technology. Mm. The current one, each capsule can be made for $35. Can you imagine $35 wow. which mm. is mm. you know less than 5000 rupees. Yeah. And uh, once we attach therapeutic potentials, it's got a huge potential because theoretically you can be sitting uh, Sonal in Delhi, I can give you the capsule and from Hyderabad I can control the capsule here go to the spot where if you have a bleed or a early cancer and remove it from here. Hmm. That's the potential it's got. It's yeah. going to be fantastic, it's going to revolutionize how we practice medicine and in about five years time I can see that our practice at least in gastroenterology is going to be different from what we're doing right now. And also I think this is going to spread to other specialties also and we're starting going to get capsules in other areas. But this is just the beginning of a new revolution in medicine. Ready a drone inside the body, uh, it really does sound like a marvel. <laughs> yeah. But tell us, at the moment, is this yeah. already in use in India and who all can actually take advantage of this tech? Uh, currently, we are using this diagnostic capsule, it's available for everybody. But what uh, we are going to, when this uh, pill bot comes, which is somewhere next year, it will be available, but we are, what we are going to do is to do it in a very staggered fashion. Only some big institutions would have it to validate all the things that we are doing with this and once we are very sure, it will be widely available. My belief is in two years time, it will be available to anybody. Tomorrow you can just go to a doctor and say, look, I want to see what's inside my body. Can you use this pill bot and direct it towards whatever lesion? You should yeah. be able to do it. And finally, I see long term. Uh, where this can be available in supermarkets, you know, you just put some coins or rupees or whatever it is, you get a pill bot and put it into your body and you can die because it's very easy to direct it. It's like a submarine swimming in water. It's a small robot in the intestinal tract. You can direct it to wherever you want and then do all sorts of surgical techniques to remove tumors and so on. So I think it's going to greatly enhance our capability to diagnose all these cancers or tumors, ulcers very early before they go into complication and ultimately it's going to save a lot of cost because uh, then you don't require hospitalization, all types of surgeries and so on. Uh, Dr. Reddy, I was reading that uh, experts and those who actually worked on this are also excited to see how AI will tie together with this. So uh, as AI itself yes, develops yes. the ways in which it could yeah. tie together, can you just explain that to us? 
Yeah, that's a very interesting concept. Uh, what's going to happen is right now it's a drone. It's going to become a robot soon, very soon. And then you add AI, it's an artificially intelligent robot. You can imagine what all we can do with it. For example, right now when we put this pill bot, we have to search for the lesion. I have to see where the ulcer is, where the cancer is and try and navigate it towards that. But if you have artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence will sense before itself. It doesn't take a long time. We will immediately get to that spot. And once we see this tumor, the artificial intelligence, we are already doing it with our endoscopes. The artificial intelligence will tell us whether this is a dangerous tumor, whether it's an ordinary wow. tumor which can be left alone, how deep should we cut to take it out and so on. We are now doing it with a regular endoscope, it's called CADEX and CAD-E, where we use this technology. But just imagine putting into a small capsule like this and using it, it's going to be remarkable in that sense. So artificial intelligence robot is going to be the future and not very long future, it's going to be mm. very soon now coming. Dr. Reddy, it's been an eye-opening uh, chat trying to understand about this pill bot. You're saying anywhere and it's it's in the near future. Within the next two years, you're saying it's going to be available yes. for all of us to sort of try on. Yes. Uh, that's equally fascinating. And can I just uh, say it's e equal measure fascinating and equal measure scary as well. So and let's so see. so cool. <laughs> and let's see what actually okay. comes out of it. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us uh, with all the latest and giving us a glimpse of that pill bot.